Here's a short digital adventure with our friends, the Cyber Family. In this episode, Carol goes shopping online. Meet Carol. Hello. Carol is a personal financial planner who works out of her local credit union. Today, Carol is shopping online for a new tablet. She found one that she likes for an exceptional price at a shopping website called Schopenheimer. Carol decides that the deal is too good to pass up. Like all shopping websites, Schopenheimer requires users to submit financial data in order to complete a transaction. But what happens if Carol clicks Submit? Where does that information go? Well, it turns out that at Schopenheimer, Carol's information will go to ID Ivan, a cybercriminal who specializes in identity theft. ID Ivan built the Schopenheimer webpage to harvest financial data, which he plans to sell on the black market. If Carol is paying attention, she'll notice that something is wrong before she submits her financial information. Let's take a look at the red flags on Schopenheimer. First of all, what is Schopenheimer? Have you ever heard of them before? I sure haven't. Now, unknown retailers are of course not all bad, but you should always research unknown online retailers before you make a purchase. Second, notice how unbelievably low these prices are. If a price seems too good to be true, then there's a good chance that something is wrong. Third, notice that this website is asking for some very private information, social security numbers, and driver's license numbers. This information is never necessary to complete an online transaction, and no legitimate retailer should ever ask you to provide these numbers. Here are a few more tips for safer online shopping. Monitor your credit card statements. Make it part of your financial routine to skim your statements for suspicious purchases. If you see purchases that you don't think you made, contact your lending institution as soon as you can. Some people even use a different computer for their online finances. They keep this devoted computer as secure as they can, and they refrain from using it on public Wi-Fi networks. These precautions lower the probability that somebody will harvest their financial information. Finally, some people use a lower balance credit card for online purchases. This way, if their credit card information is compromised somehow, the thieves will only have access to a limited line of credit. In Carol's case, she decided to take a closer look at Schopenheimer before completing her purchase. When she saw the red flags, she got out of there as fast as she could.